We're taking you to Pride Rock, where Disney's using virtual reality to direct The Lion King. Google took the daydream and turned it into a nightmare. And then we're taking you to the Bahamas for the greatest moment in 360 aerial history. Let's go. What's going on everybody? I'm back. Uh, I was gone, but you didn't know that. You didn't know that, but can you see anything different? Can you see anything different? Probably not, probably not. So the first story today we're talking about is The Lion King. Have you, have you heard of it? Have you heard of Lion King? Well, it's a little bit different now. We've got a live action Lion King movie and you're probably wondering, Kyle, why are you talking about Lion King right now in a virtual reality show? Well. I'm gonna tell you, there's some cool things going on with Mr. Jitman, Mr. Jester, Jitman, Mr. Jester, Jitman, Mr. John Favreau. <laughs> so, is directing parts of this movie in virtual reality. The last um, last season, if you remember, if you were if you were there, if you were, thank you. So what they did is Disney built this proprietary software to allow John Favreau to put on this headset and talk with his DP, to talk with his producers, and have this multiplayer functionality where they were exploring the 3D scenes and were able to direct directly within the headset. Hey guys, the giraffes look great, but why are they so big? John, John you, you gotta zoom out. How the hell do I zoom out on this thing? You, you just look great. Elven graveyard, checks out, checks out. Zebras, more stripes on the zebras. Thanks guys, it's a wrap, take five. <laughs> we talk about virtual reality in all these different uses and for, the, for most people, they know about virtual reality and they think it's all about video games. But this is another indication of another huge company, one of the biggest companies in the world using virtual reality to help direct and to help narrate some of the greatest stories that have ever existed. That's cool. We're moving on to the next story. We're gonna talk, we're gonna go from Disney. We're gonna go from this huge company, Disney, way up there. You know, we're gonna come down. No, we're not coming down. We're gonna stay over here. We're talking Google. Google, for the longest time, was promoting their Google Daydream platform. They had the headset, they had their own platform. And uh, I'm sad to say that it's, I, I think it's dead. Uh, Google announced that they're no longer gonna be supporting it uh, with a new Google phone and also too, um, they're not going to be coming out with anything to compete with the Oculus Quest, as you know, is, is coming out. Uh, Pre-orders have been amazing. Can't wait to get mine. Google has a lot of things going for them. I think they made a few mistakes on the get-go with uh, having a lot of the apps be proprietary. And also, too, you had to use a Google phone. Up until recently, you had to use a Google phone just to, to use it. So they, I think they kind of shot themselves in the foot there and they really allowed the, the Samsung Gear VR to take hold of that market, the mobile VR market. So don't, don't, don't feel bad for them. I know every single one of you is just weeping on the other side of your phone. Let the tears power your phone. Google announced that they're going to be incorporating augmented reality into their search results. With computer vision and augmented reality, the camera in our hands is turning into a powerful visual tool to help you understand the world around you. Say you're a student studying human anatomy. Now, when you search for something like muscle flexion. How does the, the creator, how does somebody like you and me, how do we get our 3D models into the search results? But Google has said that they've already been working with some big brands in order to, to make this happen. So, uh, uh, Nike, uh, there's been some car manufacturers that are using this. So it's it, it's exciting and that just, Google is heading in a direction for augmented reality, a, a, a platform for the masses. And I, I fully know, and, and as you should, augmented reality is something that can be put into everyone's hands today, right now. If you have a phone in your pocket, you have the potential to play with augmented reality. Uh, you look at Jaunt VR, when Jaunt VR crossed over to Jaunt XR, uh, they did that, uh, in my opinion, they started out with 360 video, they built a platform, they built a camera, but that market is very small, and it's not as developed as the augmented reality platform. Pokemon Go really allowed, really opened the door to show the mass, to show the masses what augmented reality is and how it can be used. 
people are still very much, uh, uh, they don't really know how to use virtual reality. They don't really know how to use 360 video. And that's why we're here. So I can relay all of that, all of the goodness, all of the VR goodness, I can give it to you. I mean, we can talk about Google all day. We can talk about Google all day, but we're gonna talk about something even cooler. And what we're talking about is, we're talking about cruises. We're talking about vacation. We're talking Bahamas, right? Right, take me to the Bahamas. Uh, that's, how they, that's how they talk there. I know. The 360 video of the day is selfishly, full disclosure, is a project that I worked on with Skylabs Miami down in the Bahamas for Royal Caribbean. What we did is we spent five days out on location to announce Royal Caribbean's new private, it's, it's not a new island, their new revamped island Coco Cay. They spent all this time and resources to, to improve the island and add, they have a new water park, they have a, a new, they, they developed the entire island. And what we did is we came in and we wanted to show, we live streamed this grand reveal. There's a lot of factors that go into filming on a remote island. Uh, you don't have internet. And it, it, before you start feeling like, oh, Kyle, you were you were on an island. You were like, there's a lot of complications there. It was a really tough job. But I tell you what, the, the team, the Skylabs team there when I was, that I was working with, they are some of the most talented, professional, hardworking people that I have ever worked with. But I just want to give a big shout out to the team, the Skylabs team that was there. Obviously, Lewis for putting all of this on. Uh, Lewis was the mastermind behind this project. We have Sosa, who was a pilot there. We have Colin, we have uh, Cesar, we have Steve, we have Dimitri, that whole team. I was in the Bahamas. I mean, you, you're gonna you're gonna think like, oh Kyle, you were in the Bahamas. And you, you may have seen me on the back of the jet ski of that shot when I was holding the pole, right? But I wasn't having a good time. I was working, okay? I was out there, I was doing the work. I want you to pay special attention to the last shot of this video. Pay special attention because what this is, is this is the, 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 all of that work came to one moment. All right, you know, come here, come here, come here. I want to tell you something. Just imagine, just close your eyes, just close your eyes. I'm not going to close my eyes. You close your eyes. You've spent the last four months planning this huge event, okay? You've, you've literally spent, you've used the resources of hundreds of people, thousands of people to make this happen. That moment came down to one 10 minute flight. One, one 10 minute flight to make that happen. There were fireworks, there were geysers. We had to coordinate ships. That cruise ship had special instructions for this shoot. It took a literal island of people to make this happen. I consider this the greatest moment in aerial 360 video history, period. Well guys, that's it. That's it. Uh, that, I mean, that's that's what we have this week. Uh, you know, next week I'll I'll maybe shave a little bit. You know, look a little rough. I've got the castaway beard. I really wanted to embody it. Wilson! <laughs> but guys, as always, thank you so much for for watching. I know that you have a busy day. Hey, I'm a parent. I run a business. It's crazy out there. You don't have you you have to really think about what you're gonna do, where you're gonna put your time. And I know you took this time to spend it with me, to spend it with us. And for that, I'm very grateful. Please tune in next week, Fridays, 3 p.m. to see another episode of the Actual VR Show. If you have any questions, leave them down in the comments. If you're watching this on YouTube, hit that subscribe button. Why 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 are you why are you not doing that? Smash it. I don't know why I listen to you. <laughs> <laughs> when you hit that subscribe button, you're just going to get this weekly flow of everything you need to know about the state of VR and how it applies to you. As always, guys, thank you so much for, for joining us. I will see you next week. And until then, keep you stay awesome. <laughs> I'm okay with that. I'm, I'm okay with that exit. <laughs> it did, he did do that. He was holding it in like for so long. I like felt his pain. <laughs> COPD, bro. You got that COPD. Someone get this man a name. Okay.